Let me tell you the thing about us, the thing that makes you and I different. And if you don't have this trait, I highly suggest you get it because I used to not have it. And uh, it's a quick recipe to guarantee you're gonna be poor a long time and not successful. The difference between us and most people is we understand that time tells the truth. What does that mean? Well, here's what it means. You wanna know who your true friends are? Be patient enough, keep them acquaintances for a little while. When everybody else is rushing into instant friendships, you keep them as acquaintances. You can be vulnerable, you can be open. Keep them as acquaintances because time will tell you if you should go into a deeper relationship with them, whether it's dating, business partners, whatever. What's the difference between us and most people that didn't get this training? I got some mentors, I'm passing on to you what they told me. Time tells the truth, mark my freaking words. Everybody else is a liar. You'll meet people that'll talk a good game, you'll meet this, they're gonna help. Time is like a knife. It slices falsehood from truth. You wanna know what business you should do? People are gonna die, tell me right now. I'm like, oh no. The difference between us and people like that is those people have no patience. So they jump into th everything, throw their whole life into something that they haven't even experimented with. Smart scientists experiment. They use time on their side. They set up a small controlled experiment. Time reveals whether that experiment is successful. They don't bet the whole freaking lab on it. They don't bet, bet their whole life. That's how to be a horrible sales uh, scientist. But when it comes to being an entrepreneur, people are like, I sold my life savings and I'm doing this. I'm like, have you ever done it before? No. Well, then you're part of them. I'm talking about how to be part of us. People who understand that time tells the freaking truth. You must love time, embrace time. When everybody else is more impatient, ooh, I want this to happen now, I want this to happen, you go, no, I am part of that. I'm part of the people that love time because time sets in, begins to reveal, reveal whether your business will be successful. I'll tell you a true story. There was a guy not far down the street, Santa Monica. He had an idea for an app. It was an app that was an address book. He thought it was a great idea, he, but he was smart enough to set it up as an experiment with an open mind to let time tell the truth. And as he began to launch that app, not that many people used it. Now here's where he was different than most people. He listened to the time telling him the truth. Some time transpired. It was clear that his app wasn't such a good app. He pivoted, he changed, he said, let's build something else. We got this smart team building this calendar app, it ain't really working, let's do something else. They launched something else, they said, let's try photos. They launched that, two, three years later, they sold it for a billion dollars. The name of that company was Instagram. Time tells the truth. If you're one of those impatient people, here's my suggestion to you, because some people pride themselves on their impatience. Do you pride yourself on bad breath? If someone tells you, yo bro, your breath stinks, and then another person comes up to you and says, yo, your breath stinks, do you just start walking around next time you go on a date, next time you go out with people, hey, I'm that dude with bad breath. I hope not, or you have no freaking social skills. Well, when it comes to impatience, you meet some people, oh, I'm just impatient, I'm impatient. To me, it's like saying you stink. Fix it. Whatever you gotta do, you fix it. Be a man, be a woman, bite your tongue, get some patience inside you. No patience, no money. No patience, no money, mark my word. You go to the top. You ask Bill Gates, you ask Mark Zuckerberg, you ask Mark Cuban, you ask Warren Buffett. What do you think they're gonna tell you? You know, people see this, they're like, oh, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Maseratis, cool. And I'm like, hey, you know what this was before? No car. Then it was a junky Toyota, 20 years old, someone gave me. Then it was a Mitsubishi Galant. Then it was, what did I have, a Pontiac, some piece of crap car. Time brings those. But some people don't love time. And that's why they don't drive those. Now I'm not bragging about those, I'm just showing a lesson. This is a true story, you could argue whatever you want. This isn't a set. I didn't pull these cars in to shoot this little five, six minute video. Some people are like, Ty just pulls in this. <laughs> yeah, I rent all of these. 
You think I read all these just to pull in here? No. People who say that, they don't love time. Time tells the truth. Love the truth equals love time. A plus B equals C. Therefore, C minus B equals A. That's how the algebra equation goes. Love it. Next time you're like, but Ty, I don't know what I should do in my life. Well, let time set in. Run a whole bunch of experiments. Give them time. And time is this truth sayer that will start whispering in your ear. Yo, do this. Grab some late night food. When it comes to diet, same damn thing. People are like, oh, I read a book. It says veganism is what I should do. Oh, it says paleo. Let time tell you. Run the experiment on veganism. If you look bad as hell after it, you look horrible, then time's whispering in your ear. Veganism ain't for you. Or paleo ain't for you. Or Atkins diet is. But most people don't love the truth. They love their own theories. And that's why most people don't get what they want. To get what you want, you got to deserve it. Time will, t time will tell you what you deserve. Sorry for eating. Some of you are going to say, that's rude. That's what I say to you. Eh, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Not really. I try to eat with my mouth closed. I'm hungry too. And since you didn't pay anything for this video, I figure I got a little more leeway to do what I want. Some people just don't have to watch the video if they think it's rude. Time also tells you who's annoying people who will say stuff like, yo, you're chewing with your mouth open during your video. Great. I love time. It tells me who to block on my Instagram. It'll tell you who you should block from your friends. Time will tell you when you're in need and you need some to borrow some money from people. All these people that were your quote unquote close friends, they don't call. Time told you the truth about them. So I guess what I'm trying to say in a long winded way is be patient. Be patient. I read, by the way, I'm supposed to eat. Forget how many ounces of nuts a day. So, getting my almonds, my flax seed, some hemp seed, some chai, some cashews. I guess we'll let time tell. See if I'm getting in better shape. You know why most people, this shirt says read. People are like, hey, Ty, how do you read? Time. That's well. Warren Buffett reads 800 pages a day because he lets time <laughs> work in his favor. He sits down and reads a book. People go, well, Ty, I'm going to become great. I hope you are. You watching this, I hope you become great. But time's going to tell. Fear time, love time, respect time. You know, some of you seen when I was at the Grammys yesterday. And I went to Playboy Mansion. When I go out to big things, I'll bring some bodyguard guys just because, not that I get weird fans that are mean, but sometimes people want too many pictures. And I call Rome the keeper of the peace. And um, I respect Rome. He's six foot seven, 300 pounds, 305, and bench press is 550. Has 21 and 22 inch biceps. I respect Rome. I don't fear him, but I respect him. I might fear him a little bit if he got mad at me. That's how time should be for you. Respect it. It'll save your life. Rome might save my life one day. Um, don't mess with it. I don't mess with Rome. <laughs> we got a good relationship. I don't, I don't start shit with him. I respect him. I give him his. And he gives me mine. That's time. Treat time that way, and you're going to become a badass. Mark my words. Most people have no understanding of time. It's one of the greatest minds of all time. Einstein, Hawking, they contemplated time. They spent years and decades of their life contemplating time. Time is hard to understand. I don't claim to be an expert like Einstein, but I will tell you this. I respect it. I want it on my side. I want it 
on good favor and good standing with it. I don't take it for granted. It's like Rome, I don't push them out of the way. It's what people do with time. Oh, Ty, yeah, it took uh, Bill Gates 20 years to be a billionaire. I'll be a billionaire next year. Oh, really? <laughs> That's like going up to Rome. Hey, Rome, you bench 550. Give me a week and I'll bench 550. No, you won't. It takes time. Time, my friend, time. And grapes. This is the second secret to success. Eat grapes. Just joking. I'm going to get all these people like, oh, Ty, grapes turn to sugar. Uh -huh. It's all right. Ain't nobody fat because of grapes. Time will also tell you what your friends and which people in your life don't know what the hell they're talking about. If you try to listen to them, life gets worse. So, even this video, time will tell you whether it's helpful to you. Maybe everything I'm saying is BS. Try it. Run it as a small experiment. If your life gets worse, if you start getting more patient and your life goes to crap, then that's truth whispering in your ear. This Thai guy in that video didn't know what the hell he's talking about. Anyway, by the way, don't miss out on these free cars I'm giving away. I'm talking real cars. You want a Mustang, brand new? You want a Camaro? You want a Jeep? You want a Prius? I'm gonna give two in like two, two weeks. All you gotta do, quickest and easiest contest known to mankind. Follow my Snapchat, Ty Lopez and the number one. That's it. You do that, you're in. I'll put a little link below. And then, you follow my Snapchat. I announce the winners every day. I pick eight semifinalists a day. And the eight semifinalists, if you become a semifinalist, you win all kinds of cool stuff. GoPros, pay off your credit cards, blah, 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 MacBook Pro, like all this stuff. And then if you win the, one of those little prizes, then you're a contestant to win a big one. Ty Lopez won Snapchat. People are like, Ty, why are you doing that? I don't know. I like to experiment. I'm a mad scientist. Or at least I wish I was. And um, I saw that movie, Pay It Forward. You ever seen that, Kevin Spacey? There's only one catch. If I give you the car, you gotta give me your word. I won't do it in writing that one day, if you're financially stable enough, it could be 10 years from now, one year from now, 20 years from now, that you'll do something like this for somebody else who's starting out. Maybe a car, maybe pay off their student loans. Like I said, I don't know how to enforce it, but when you get the car, I'm just gonna ask you verbal, word is bond. So that's the only catch. Besides that, you get a free, I'm doing a lease. Three years, you'll get a brand new car. You can pick which of the seven cars. Three year lease. I didn't lease because it's better for taxes for you. If I give you a brand new car, you're gonna get a big tax bill and you might not have the cash for it. So the lease is much better, but it'll be all paid for. You just gotta pay your gas and insurance and stuff like that. But um, some people might be like, why aren't you paying the gas and insurance? I don't know, I don't feel like it. I mean. I don't know how much you drive and all that, so I just get you the car. Hopefully that's good enough. So click the link below, it'll add you on Snapchat. And then after the contest is over, if you don't like me, you can just unfollow me. I'm, you're not locked in or anything. Oh, one other thing about the car that's so cool. If you refer your friends to follow me on Snapchat, Ty Lopez the number one on Snapchat, Ty Lopez one. If any of your friends win, you get a car too if they say you refer them. I'm giving two cars, I doubled it. I doubled the offer. Badass, ma'am. I wish someone had given me a damn car. So, there we go. Tell me what you think. Follow me. Oh, when you get to Snapchat, send me a little private message. Be like, yo, Ty, I'm here. What's up? Or, I want the car. Oh, leave a comment below. What's something you've been super impatient on? But don't forget to add me on Snapchat. Plus, I add all, I, I'm posting all kinds of badass shit. I went to the Grammys behind the scenes. I was at Playboy Mansion after that. I had one of the Lakers here playing basketball, talking about how you can become a champion. All kinds of cool, fun stuff, but also stuff for you. Jiu-Jitsu, I train with the top Jiu-Jitsu people. You wanna learn self-defense, you wanna learn Muay Thai, basketball, you wanna learn speed reading, chess, poker. I train with the best, and I open it up on my Snapchat. So, hopefully you like it. Talk to you soon.